sound speeds. And in this video, we're going to be speeding a lot because we're going to be testing the battery claims of a company called Electrosonics. You may have heard of them. They happen to be one of the leading manufacturers of wireless products here in America. And two of their transmitters, the SMV and the SMQV, are very popular on film sets. And the reason is because you can select the output power on the transmitter between 50 milliwatts, 100 milliwatts, and 250 milliwatts. The SMV and the SMQV are very similar. As a matter of fact, they're almost identical. The difference is the SMV only accepts one AA battery and the SMQV accepts two. The two batteries allows it to last longer before the transmitter dies. Kind of common sense, right? In the SMV SMQV manual, Electrosonics makes certain claims for how long a lithium battery will last in each of their transmitters at different powers. And let's go over those first. In the SMV transmitter, it has 50, 100, and 250 milliwatts. And they claim that on 50 milliwatts, it will last about seven hours and 15 minutes before it dies. On the 100 milliwatts, it will last about five and a half hours. And on 250 milliwatts, it will last about three hours. On the SMQV two battery version, it, they claim that in 50 milliwatts, it will last about 14 and a half hours. In 100 milliwatts, it will last about 14 hours and on 250 milliwatts, it will last about seven and a half hours. Those are pretty steep claims. Of course, you're going to be using lithium batteries, which do last longer. So what are we going to test this with? A lot of? No, that would be too easy. We're going to be using the DPA 4018C. Well, not exactly the C. One of the cool things about DPA microphones is that there is a capsule and there is a power supply because their system is modular. But this here is the MMPG active cable. Now, this allows you to plug in a capsule directly to it and make one of the best sounding plant microphones you've ever heard. You can now plug this directly into a transmitter like the SMV and SMQV and use the electric power off of the transmitter to power this microphone capsule without a power supply, which is pretty awesome. In the SMV SMQV manual, you'll see that it can supply a bias voltage of 5 volts at up to 5 milliamps, which is more than enough power to power the MMPGS with the 4018 capsule on there at full performance spec for up to whatever duration time that the battery life can sustain. I put a timestamp on each frame of the time lapse so that we have a wonderful idea of how long the transmitter is going to be lasting in real time. The time that I start the time lapse is listed at the top, and the time that the transmitter dies is listed at the bottom. So the time I turned on the transmitter to the time the transmitter died and all the lights went out is listed right there, and the total time is listed next to it. The batteries we're going to be using for this test is going to be the Energizer Ultimate Lithiums, which should yield us a very fair result. The camera is going to be a GoPro Hero 4 Black running a time lapse where one frame corresponds to about 10 seconds in reality. That should give us a, a result within about 10 seconds of accuracy, which should be good enough for our test. Now, I could run one test run with each power on each transmitter, but instead I'm going to run it twice and we'll average the two together. So without delay, let's get into it. these results, both the Electrosonics SMV and SMQV transmitter outperform the own battery life expectancies listed on their website and in the manual, while electric powering a DPA 4018 over an active cable. I shouldn't really be surprised they make solid products and they have a wonderful reputation for a reason. Tune in in the future for more episodes of Sound Speeds and some more sound advice.
Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.